Hey everyone, welcome back to the Thinkorswim tutorial series. In today's video, we'll be focusing on the side panel on Thinkorswim. We're going to be going through the many gadgets available to you, how they work, and how you may be able to use them in your trading. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with what a side panel is, that's what this is over here on the left. Now, this page is entirely customizable. The information I have displayed is not what you have to have displayed. Now, on my side panel, I currently have account info, which is really just a breakdown of what kind of buying power do I have, what's my account worth, stuff like that. Right below that is my live news box. If I scroll up, you can see I'm currently showing news articles about Netflix. If I wanted to read this article, like Netflix changes how it ranks its most popular shows, if I click on that, it now opens up a window and I could read through this article. The two little gadgets below that are going to be two watch lists, one called indices, so I can keep track of what the indexers are doing, like S&P 500, Dow Jones, NASDAQ, and a watch list I've made for myself called options, so I can keep track of the companies that I want to keep track of. But like I said, you can customize this however you want. If you want to add a gadget, all you have to do is come down here to the lower left-hand corner and click on this little plus sign. From there, it opens up a gadget menu. And you're going to see some of the ones I currently have on there, but you're going to see a lot of others that I didn't talk about. Now, some of them are pretty straightforward, like Calculator. That's simply a calculator. Minesweeper is literally the game Minesweeper. However, there are some on there that you might be a little bit confused about, maybe want a little better description, and that's what we're going to focus on in today's video. Now, Xing out of this for just a second, let's focus on the ones I currently have. Up at the top, you can see I've got the account info section, which again is a breakdown of how much buying power I have, what's my account worth, that kind of stuff. Simple explanation, options buying power is the amount of money I have to spend on options contracts. Net lick and day trades, this is what my account is currently worth right this very second. Cash and sweep vehicle, this is the amount of cash I have in the account. Since this is a positive number of 6,344 bucks, this is how much cash I personally have. If that number was negative, let's say it said negative 10,000. That would be my current margin balance, how much I'm borrowing from TD Ameritrade. Available funds for trading is generally always going to be the same as options buying power unless you make a recent deposit. And then finally, stock buying power. This is the amount of money you're going to have available to spend on fully marginal stock. It's usually going to be significantly higher than options buying power, but in my case, I have uh, what's called portfolio margin, so these numbers are all exactly the same. But in your case, stock buying power is going to be the amount of money you have to spend on fully marginal stock and hold it overnight. Now that number does include margin, so if you spend beyond your cash and sweep vehicle, that is fully margin. If it says I only have 6,344 bucks in cash, and yet I spend 129 k to buy stock, over $123,000 would immediately go onto my margin balance. And every day that I hold that overnight, I am going to be paying a margin interest rate. Now that pretty much sums up the account info section, but right below that we already talked about the news tab. This live news tab is going to show you any relevant articles about the company that we're looking at. So in the case of Netflix, these will all be articles that at least mention Netflix in some way. The watch list tabs pretty much speak for themselves. This is just a watch list so I can keep track of companies I want to keep track of. If we wanted to get rid of one of these to make room for a different gadget, we could click on those three little lines and come down to delete gadget. We now have some space to work with on our side panel, so we're going to come down here to the plus sign, and we're going to start going through these. Now, since we've already discussed a couple of these, we're going to skip over them like account info, calculator, and we're also going to skip over the ones I doubt you're ever going to use and really shouldn't use. I don't see any reason for it. That's going to be stuff like chart describer, dashboard, Forex currency map if you don't trade Forex, but we are going to discuss things I think you're actually going to use like level two data. Now, level two is going to be all of the open orders currently on the stock that we're looking at. Now, in our case, we're not looking at a stock at the moment, but if we were to link this up, let's change it to red. What that does is link our chart or our watch list right here to our level two. So you can see I also have a red one next to indices right here, and I've got a red one next to the level two, which means if I were to click on a symbol in here like SPX, my level two is going to change to SPX. If I were to click on NQ, my level two is going to change to NQ. Now, in our case, this doesn't really make sense. We're talking about stock, so let's just throw in a stock here. We'll do AAPL, which is Apple. Now, level two is going to be all of the open orders on this particular stock. So open orders to buy, open orders to sell. Now, the bid side is going to be all of the open buy orders. So right here, you can see there is an open order to buy 1,100 shares of Apple at 151. And if we look to the left of that, that order is currently resting on the ARCA exchange. You can also see an order to buy 100 shares of Apple at 150.92 resting on the NASDAQ. An order to buy 100 shares at 150.80 on the Amex. And I'm sure you've already noticed you do have to add two zeros to this number. So the number one, that's actually 100 shares. Two is 200 shares and so on. Now the ass side. These are all the open orders to sell the stock at this price. 
You can see there's an open order to sell 900 shares at 150.103 on ARCA, an order to sell 100 shares at 150.108 on Amex, 1,100 shares at 150.120 on NASDAQ, and it is the after hours and actually the market just closed recently, so you're not gonna see this changing much right now or really at all, but if you look at this during regular market hours, you're gonna be seeing this change very, very rapidly. Some people could read the tape, that's not me personally, but if you ever wanna check this out, this is where we could add level two data. Now the thing to keep in mind is that these are the best orders on each respective exchange. So this is the best order on the ARCA, best order on the NASDAQ, best order on the Amex. I'm sure there are a lot of other orders resting out on ARCA, but this is the best one. So this isn't gonna give you a true depth of the market, that's something to keep in mind, but it is giving you a nice overall picture of what's going on. Let's come up here to the upper right hand corner, click on these three little lines. From there, we're gonna come down to Switch Gadget. The next one we'll discuss quickly is Quick Chart. Now the Quick Chart is simply a little chart that's gonna be in the lower left hand corner of your screen. So if we added Apple here, we could then see a tiny little chart of Apple. If we wanted to change that to a Netflix chart, we'll just type in NFLX there. And now we see a chart for Netflix. It is simply a small chart that we could see in our side panel. I don't personally like to have it because I've already got a big chart on the right. I don't need a tiny little chart on the left, but it is here in case you need it. Now, moving on from that, if we switch the gadget, another one I think you could use often is going to be time and sales. So we'll go ahead and click on that. Just like before, we don't have a symbol in here. So we'll go ahead and throw one in just for practice's sake. We'll throw in Netflix. And like I said before, the market is closed, so this is not the greatest example, but time and sales is gonna show you all the trades that have happened on Netflix. So unlike level two, which are open orders, time and sales are the actual trades that have filled. So down below, you would see the time of the trade, the price of the trade, and the size of the trade. For example, if somebody just bought 200 shares of Netflix, you would see the time of the trade, 752, they bought 300 shares of the stock, and they bought it at X price. Now, another main difference between this and level two is that you don't need to add two zeros. If you see 100 here, that was 100 shares. If you see 50 here, that was 50 shares. You don't need to add two zeros to the size over here. Now, some other tools, if we go ahead and click on this and switch gadget, another one I think you could use often is going to be the trade flash. Now, trade flash shows you a few different things, but my favorite thing on here is unusual options activity. If we were to scroll down a little bit until when the mark was actually open, you can see some unusual trades on the options contracts down here below. You can see somebody sold 2,500 GM contracts. For the 17th of December, they sold the $65 calls at $1.77 each. Now, if we were to do the math for a second, we multiplied the number of contracts, 2,500, times the price, $1.77, we would see that that person received $442,500 for selling those calls. Now that could have been a single trade, but if we scroll down, we can see somebody also bought 4,000 GM calls. And if we look, it was at the exact same time, 224. So it looks like this was a ratio spread of some kind. It looks like they bought the 64s, sold the 65s. Doesn't look like it was a covered call, but it actually looks like it could be a bullish position. But this would definitely classify as a unusual trade on GM. And it looks like a significantly bullish one. If we scroll through Trade Flash a little bit more, you're gonna see it shows some other activity. Like right here, CYTH, you can see it's down 15% in the after hours. You can see AVIR also halted for news. EYPT was down 3% in the post market. So Trade Flash shows you a lot of good info. Unusual activity, big earnings news, options activity, and I think it even shows you futures activity in here as well. Yep, it does, large futures trades. So Trade Flash is pretty cool. Level two is something I think you're gonna use often, time and sales as well. The other gadgets on here, if we open this back up and switch the gadget, I truly, don't, I truly don't see you using them very often or if ever. The ones I see you truly using are gonna be time and sales, trade flash, live news, watch list, and obviously account info so you can keep track of your buying power. I'm not gonna discuss the other ones because I just don't find them very relevant. I do recommend you check them out on your own and see if they could help you in any way. But that pretty much wraps everything up for this video today. Hopefully this helped introduce you to some of the gadgets available to you. If you do have any questions left for me, please leave them down below in the comments. Also, please do me a favor and hit that like button on your way out, and I hope to see you all in the next video.